Welcome to IGM Guru. IGM Guru is one of the global leading online training and certification provider for IT expert by the skilled IT gurus to help them achieve their professional goals. One more architecture that is the GAN architecture. So GAN is stands for the generative adversarial network. So GAN architecture is nothing but a, again a series of your uh, a, a part of your deep learning architectures which use the unsupervised learning and generating some data. This architecture is introduced by the Ian Goodfellow in 2014 and here in the generative adversarial network we are using the two different architecture. And the real use case of the GAN architecture uh, is to generate the image. So if you see these things, if you see all this picture, if you see all these pictures, these pictures are not the real person picture. Based on the model, based on the data it is trained, my GAN architecture creates some images. Like for example, where I showed you that when Elon Musk is playing holy, this picture is not the real picture, but it is it gets generated. So in the GAN architecture, we are generating the pictures from the different domains. So the thing is, what how what we have in this GAN architectures? So in this GAN architectures, <coughs> we use the two different architectures as, as I mentioned that and one of the architecture will be the serial architecture. So this serial architectures will be, you already have seen that it, it will be used for the image classifications. So how serial architecture works? We pass the image to the series of the convolutional and pooling layers and then after that and then after that we perform the flatten operation and get the values. This is for the your uh, CN architecture that, that we are doing. And now if we talk about the simple discriminative models, how the discriminative models or you can say that how the again, CNN architecture works so guys, please pay attention here because this part is important and differentiate your generative AI. So in the CNN architecture, what I'm doing is I'm saying that so I have the two type of image. One image is of number zero and two images are of number one. So, what we are doing is, uh, what we are doing is, we are first fetching this information to the, fetching this, passing this information to the CNN architecture. CNN architecture creates the features. So, these are the features for the zero. These are the features for the one. And then after that, it create a boundary that yes, this is the boundary between the features. So the next time, if I pass a value zero, first it will perform the feature vector. If you remember that, it will perform the convolutional layer, pooling layer, feature uh, uh, flatten layer. Then. If after doing this, uh, once I will doing the flatten operation, if this feature vector is comes under this here, I can say that this is the zero. If this feature vector values comes behind this line, so we can call it as a number one. Uh, this is how your senior architecture works. Okay, but if you talk about the generative AI models, Generative AI models works little bit different. So they will take the image of the zeros and convert into the vector 
and check the distribution. So this is the distribution of my zero. Similarly, it will take all the ones images and create the distribution of, convert into the vector and create the distribution of the one. So in this area, distribution of the one is there. Now, in the generative A model, if you want to create a image zero, what it will do is, it will replicate the same distribution because this distribution sounds like as a zero, right? In this yeah. distribution, values like as a zero. What I will do is, you want the zero? Okay, I know that this is the, this is the distribution. I will create this distribution. If you want the one, I know this distribution. This is the one. This is how it generates the values. How it how generate to AI difference the things? Yes, it can difference also. If now if you, a next image is come, so it will check that under which distribution it looks like. If after doing the after doing the encoding all these things, after doing this uh, flatten part, after doing the convolution and pooling, if this resemble with the first distribution, I can say that this picture is of zero. And if it's resemble with the below distribution, I can say that it's resemble with the image one. Mm -hmm. Right. So this is how a generative model can be used for the discriminator as well as for the generation. So this is the 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 difference between the discriminative models or you can say the traditional AI and the generative AI. Generative AI is always try to create the distribution for a particular class or particular type of data and understand this distribution. So next times when you try to understand, when you try to understand, trying to get the, num generate the number image, zero image, it will generate the same distribution and this distribution is thing but the image of zero. Similarly for the one and so on. So this is your discriminative or generative models. Now, how the GAN architecture works. So I'm taking a very simple example and then I will explain you that what is the GAN architecture. <coughs> so one of the limitation, one of the requirement where a GAN is very, very powerful. So you know that in the medical, uh, in the medical sector, in the healthcare sector, if you want to build a classification model, a image classification model to we need a particular class of image like for example you want to predict a special type of skin cancer right so definitely you need that skin type cancer images more and then you will build the model to train the model on these images so yeah. I'm, I'm I, I want to build a discriminative models but the problem is that just imagine that this disease is very rare very rare disease so mm. the data will be very very less my model will not become robust. This is where the GAN architecture come in the picture. It will take the distribution, it will take the present images, try to understand this distribution and use the same distribution to generate the more images. Because if you do the augmentation, earlier we are doing the augmentation by cutting the row, by cutting the image vertically, sorry, cutting the image on the corners or rotate the image vertically, flip the image. This is what we, this is how we were doing. But this is not giving the, a, a good augmented, well, uh, good, uh, good augmented data. So GAN architecture is, is able to perform, is, is, is able to solve these problems. So now this is a very famous issue. So, so this is the difference, guys. That that uh, my model is not able to predict the the special type of breed. This is the name of Chihuahua. So, it's, my model is not able to predict the Chihuahua versus muffins because in a small scale, picture looks like the same. So, so again, architecture can resolve this issue.
okay so in the gan architecture what we will do is because uh, we will try to generate this kind of a realistic images more and once we will have the more data we can we can get the more feature and easily identify that okay this is not the cookies because at the same way here it is just create the same kind of a features so now let's see that how it works so the gan architecture has the three parts generative generative is to learn a generative model adversarial is that the training will be adversarial in nature and network means that it is a deep learning architecture so let's start how the things work so in the generator as i mentioned earlier that we have the two different deep learning architecture one architecture is the generator so the generator will learn or the generator the 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 the, the, the generator responsibility is to generate the data and the discriminator responsibility is to distinguish between generator fake data from the real data so what i did is i want to create a fake currency so my generator i pass the random input invoice basically and my model generate this output my model generate this output so this is the responsibility of the generator to generate a data and then i have a another model which is the discriminator so discriminator has the exposure of my uh, actual images how the 10 dollar note looks like and when generator create this image my model easily say that hey this is a fake image and the objective of the generator is to fool discriminator and once my generator achieve a a proficiency in generating the picture where it can fool the discriminator fool the discriminator means that the image generated by the generator is is predicted as a real image by the discriminator until both generator and discriminator will fight against each other and they update their weights to improve their efficiency so so first it will generate a very as if you talk about the process so it will be something looks like this one so i will pass a random noise go to the generator generator generate the fake samples i will pass to the discriminator <coughs> then discriminator yeah this is the one for the real image so sample will pass to the discriminator discriminator will take the real images and check that whether it is able to uh, predict the fake image correctly or not so if my discriminator able to predict the fake image so my generator loss will be high because because generator is 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 caught basically and now my back propagation will start and generate the output on the top if i am passing the sample data fake data and my model call my discriminator call it as a real data it is a discriminator loss it will just take the back propagation and update the weight so finally if the generator trainings goes well the discriminator get worse at telling the difference between real and the fake this is the main objective and this is how the uh, this is how the gan architecture works so in the gan architectures we have the two type of the architecture one is the generator one is the discriminator generator keep generating the images and learning by by coding again and again 
by getting getting caught by again again and the discriminator is also learned continuously to first the difference between the real and the fake image and the ideal scenario is because uh, the ideal scenario will be uh, uh, when my gen because we have to generate the images right so I ideal scenario will be the scenario when my generator is able to fool the discriminator or the image generated by the model the generator model will be labeled as a real image by the discriminator so we have the discriminator which is nothing but your CNN architectures so discriminator is your discriminator loss discriminator loss is simple guys that if the real image is not fetched by the real image it's a discriminator loss or if the fake image is not labeled as a fake image again it's a discriminator loss Thanks for watching the video. For full course, please visit www.igmguru.com and enroll today.